Okay guys, we've got some new games to talk about, there has been a ton of new reveals with new details recently, so let's just get right into it. And if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you drop a like, as this is the kind of videos that needs support like this. So let's start. First off, we have Vigilance 2099. The game has been in heavy development for quite some time now, and the developers plan on showing something more expensive and substantial quite soon. This is a game that I'm also partnered with the developers to show off some exclusive content. Vigilance 2099 at its core is an Unreal Engine 5 bounty under action project that will have you rise the ranks of the criminal on the world to take down whatever bounty is given to you and as an ex-fed, climb from the bottom of the crime-ridden city to the criminal ladder and to the very tippity top. This game is all about combat, exploration, parkour and most importantly your choices when at the feet of your bounties. What will you decide to do? Every decision made will influence what happens next in the world and in the story and sometimes it is not a bad guy at all that is your bounty. Featuring both third and first person, you'll enter this cyberpunk city known to the locals as Prey City and explore the open world via your own means, whether by taking your vehicle to the air or onto the rainy city streets, or by jumping out and hitting the dark alleys on foot. Earn money by capturing or killing bounties and spend it on upgrading your gear or go and make a deal with a mega corporation. Next up, we have got Taint and Grail Fall of Avalon, a brand new open world fantasy medieval project that will have a massive gameplay reveal soon that I do think will show off a promising world and overall a promising game. It is an open world RPG full of complex quests in which your decisions matter and your choices are respected. A vast world full of monsters, fallen heroes and exciting places to discover. It will offer a dark storyline that will require players to balance the shades of great and no good answers, paired with great freedom granted to the player and plenty of possible choices. King Arthur is dead and all the myths and legends are falling. Humans living at Avalon are desperately trying to find new ways of life and things to believe in. You are here to give hope and change that. Next up, we have Grey Hill Incident, a semi-open world horror alien game where you and your fellow neighbors have to survive a massive alien invasion in a classic real-life stories inspired farm-like environment. You're just a normal guy with a baseball bat, a revolver and your dog, and you have to do everything to survive as well as cooperate with the neighbors. Sneak through the open areas of the atmospheric village in invaded by aliens. Also solve tasks and investigate the neighboring houses and barns, search for useful tools and ammo to overcome the greys. The neighborhood of Grey Hill is communicating by walkie-talkies. Meet unique characters like Brandon the Veteran or Ryan's brother Bob the Lunatic and survive this massive invasion. Hide, run or fight to avoid getting caught by the greys. Next up we have Soul Frame, a brand new open world sci-fi combative free to play game being made by the creators of Warframe. Soul Frame looks quite similar to its sci-fi system but the game's combat will focus on heavy melee attacks instead of running and gunning, which means player will be in the thick of the action. Where Warframe is super fast and crazy high speed, this one's going to be a lot more slow and heavy, but it still has a lot of similarities to the genre. Soulframe is heavily focused on cooperative play, but there is no indication as to what that will look like. Lone Wolf players will definitely be able to have a great time too, there is going to be plenty of different missions to get into and a beautiful world to explore. Next up we have Robocop Rogue City, a brand new FPS action game where you take on the role of the brutal robot in a world that's filled with bandits and cruelty. You are here to keep the order in place in a world that needs it. Armed with your trusty Auto 9, factory built strength, years of experience on the force and a variety of tools at your disposal, you will fight forces seeking to destroy the city you call home in an all new first person explosive hunt for the true. You have the power to decide how to fulfill prime directives in your own way, but as the story unfolds, proceed with caution because corruption and greed knows no limits. Next up we have Nobody's Left, a Last of Us and Red Dead Redemption inspired single player project that will have you survive in a post apocalyptic world with factions that want to control it. You are a single bounty hunter that will do everything for money, even cruel things, but you unfortunately get stuck in a situation that you cannot escape from. The game as you can see is a third person action game that will also include elements of survival, like keeping yourself healthy, sleeping and looting abandoned places and such, but be extra careful of the places that you choose to sleep because anything could happen at any time depending on the location. Nobody's Left is also focused on the exploration, there will be many different post apocalyptic like places to find for new missions, new loot and opportunities. Next up we have Evil West, this is a brutal wild west game that I have been pleasantly surprised with, this game looks to be so much fun and is also still not known by a lot of people yet. In visual 
explosive combat, unleash hell with your firearms, lightning fuel gauntlet, and gadgets. Kill bloodthirsty monstrosities in style as a lone hunter or in co-op with a friend. You'll explore and fight in a narrative-driven campaign while upgrading your weapons and hunting tools. Next up, we have The Lost Wild. The Lost Wild is an immersive and cinematic dinosaur game that captures the reverence and terror of nature's most magnificent animals. Explore abandoned Japanese facilities nestled within a lush wilderness teeming with prehistoric life. Scavenge and find useful items to improve your chances of survival. This game has a system grounded in risk versus reward. Risk for launch encounters to discover more things, but it also increases the chances of an encounter that you may not survive. Finally, we have Crimson Desert, an exciting and beautiful open world RPG game that is coming this year in 2022. Crimson Desert tells the story of Pywall, a vast continent of divided regions inhabited by people struggling to survive in its ever-changing lands. From the vast plains of Akupen to the inhospitably cold lands of Quidan or the barren desert, each region possesses its own unique beauty and dangers, with different monsters, bandits, factions, dragons, villages, cities, and much more. This is a game that, of course, has its similarities to Skyrim and will also offer the opportunity to play in multiplayer with other players in the world. Aside from the single-player story, you can create your own character and explore a world with other players, which sounds really cool. I'm really looking forward to this. Alright guys, for more videos on upcoming games just like this, make sure you guys like this video and of course subscribe.